Hello everyone. So yeah, I've been away. I apologize. I have just been very exhausted and tired lately. I really didn't want to record while I'm feeling like that because you know me. I want to give you guys 100% and I want to be engaged. So if I'm not 100%, I'm not going to record. But today we have a skiz record with Han and I am so excited. And it says 13, so I'm guessing that has something to do with stays. I'm just assuming, but inform me otherwise. I apologize for not recording and I'm also not going to be here next week, which makes me really sad. Hong Jun's on a collab with someone and V from BTS is releasing a song and I'm not going to be able to react to them. But I'm taking a vacation for a week, so I'm not going to be able to do any recordings whatsoever. And you know me as well. I support everything that Stray Kids do. I'm like, I hop straight onto it and I did not want to miss out on this like as soon as the notification came I literally got out of bed and I purely just did that because I love Stray Kids and I love Han so yeah that's why I'm here <laughs> also I just want to say how proud I am of Felix like I was watching the Louis Vuitton live stream and at the end of it I saw his face like I did like a quick like wait that is that Felix it, when it was Felix I just started crying I had tears streaming down my face because like this is such a huge thing and I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of Soomin, Jongin, Shinjin, like Lino with his skiz record as well, Bang Chan with his skiz record, like Tam. We're not even into halfway of the year and Stray Kids are already doing so much and I'm just so proud of them and they're making a comeback in like April, June time. So get ready besties. And in three weeks time, the fucking Skiz fan meet is happening and like with the magic school stuff, I'm already in a group order with one of my best friends. So <laughs> yeah, it's insane. You can never sleep in Stayville guys. I'm so proud of Stray Kids. I love them to death. They've all done incredible things already. We are so fed and I'm here for it. Oh, and another thing that I wanted to mention, I have finally got my ears pierced. <laughs> yeah, so quick run story. I was three years old when my mother made the decision to get my, my ears pierced. They really hurt me, so I didn't keep them in. They sealed over, but then 22 years later, yesterday, as of recording this, I spontaneous made the decision with my sister to get my ears pierced. She paid for it. She's a sweetheart, and it was a, technically an early birthday gift. Yeah, I finally have my ears pierced, so everything that you've been seeing in videos with my silver hoops, they were fake, they were clip-ons. And I feel really bad because some people thought they were real, but no. Um, I mean, I've always, especially for the past couple of years, I've really wanted my ears pierced, but I've just been scared of the pain that I had when I was three. So I, I put it off for such a long time, but I finally did it yesterday and I felt no pain whatsoever. So, I mean, my pain tolerance is good anyway. I'm covered in tattoos. So like the women that were there were so lovely to me and so understanding and I felt nothing. I'm really glad and even now with the aftercare, I have no pain. So yeah, next piercing, I'm doing my belly. <laughs> Will I get more piercings after that? I don't know. But I also had this lovely mother and kid at the same piercing shop and this little kid saw her like how nervous I was and she was like, be brave. <laughs> and her mother was just telling me about how her kid had her ears pierced, her kid felt nothing. And the little girl was so sweet and like I bent down to her level and I was really nice and I was just like, cause she, she saw that I had the fake earrings in and she was just like, but she already has her earrings in. And I'm just like, oh my darling. Like I legit went, oh my darling, no, they're not real. I said, they're fake. And she was like, oh. <laughs> As I was sat down waiting, uh, the little girl asked me, she came up to me and she had ear earrings and she was like, which one should I have? And there was mermaid ones and they look really pretty. They were blue. And I was like, hmm. I like those ones. And she was like, okay. <laughs> so she got them, like her mom got them. And then as the mom kid left, they were like, good luck, you got this. So that made my day. And another thing to wrap this up. I got the fuckery blanket. <laughs> <laughs> he finally arrived and it is cute as fuck and so soft if you follow me on social media or see my social media i have posted pictures of me in it but yeah without further ado let's get into han song This, this sounds so beautiful already. Oh my god! 
How does Han manage to do it every time? He is so incredibly talented and it just blows my mind. Like I've said this before but Han's songs are genuinely one of my favourite. Again, not to say that I don't love the rest of Stray Kids' it's like solo music and their Skiz records that they come out with because I do. For me, Han's hits so different. Again, not saying that I don't see the others but... <laughs> Han is just a genius. I adore Han so much. I really don't know what else to say apart from the fact that I really, really loved that. He's insane. <laughs> that was my reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll have a chat about this in the comments. And I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye, everyone.